Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So we have jumped planets to planet of Sherwood and doesn't have any forests on it unfortunately. But um, let's have a look here at the star map. We can see where we are. Getting closer and closer to the Tortuga Dominions. We're going to retire back here, but uh, we're at a three and a half, or four and a half skull planet right here. Rocky world. Uh, not a lot here. Pirate presence and stuff, but we're going to take a bunch of missions while we're here. Um, we do need to make a our, uh, financial report, so let's have a look at the uh, contracts here and see what we can take. So there's a bunch of stuff that's nice that's here. Got a broken chain, destroy base mission. There's lots of opportunities to get parts off that one, so I don't want to go full sell or uh, full sea bills on that. Uh, the general here, it's three and a half skulls. I'm thinking this is probably a good opportunity to start uh, um, checking out how our loadout on the Marauder 2 is going to work. So we're going to take this mission first. It's got a nice payout, 33% bonus for each lance that we destroy. Hopefully he's got two lances with him. I'm sure he will. And we should be have no problem at three and a half skulls. So let's take this one first. Uh, and I think I want to go... Um, Let's split it down the middle. 33% of this is still a nice chunk of change. If we can destroy two lances, we can get over a million. Uh, we'll go one of five just in case there are parts that we want. And uh, let's accept this. And we'll deploy our standard lance. And let's hope that we don't get uh, destroyed or almost completely destroyed like we did in that last mission. So it's just the uh, smooth stones. Command interface initiated. All right, looks like we got uh, two lances. Which is always nice. I have no idea what he is. Don't really care. It's going to die horribly. Time to earn our money. Let's do our. Let's just earn our money. It's nice to spawn in and not have to worry about being targeted by uh, all the enemies at once. Man, that smooth stones mission. That was just crazy. Yep. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an Oh, Darius, please stop. I knew it was going to be a tough mission. Like, I knew it was going to be really tough. Um, I just didn't expect... Like, if we had had one turn to move, um, would it have turned out differently? No, most likely we would have had to have retreat, and I understand that. But what I don't think is completely fair is that, you know, spawning in and then just being completely destroyed. Because if you really think about it for a second, it's not like, you know we're going to approach the area and be standing out completely out in the open. And we're not going to be standing still either. We're not going to run up and go, hey, I wonder where they are. Dur, 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 dur. Right? So you would be moving at that time, right? Now they've handled that in the next version of like a 998 of Rogue Tech, which is great. So when you start off, you start off with Entrenched and you got six chevrons of evasion. So at least it looks like you've moved into the area. So that may have been a very different match if um, we were running 998. Which unfortunately we can't upgrade to with this one, but not a big deal. Ready for orders. On my way. Double time. Alright. Alright, let's see what we're doing. So I'm he I heard a couple of vehicles. Not very many, but a couple. Enemy detected. Okay. See, here's the thing. If you think about it, they didn't detect us. We're only detecting them now. Not even after our first move. So how those guys saw us on the first turn and hit us, I have no idea. It was just, other than cheating, I have no idea. And you could say yes, maybe they've got listening stations because it is a highly classified area, whatever. But, you know, I was a hundred ton something or other up there. Order. At least it looked like it was. Let's get some evasion up and going here. Roger. Full speed. What is up here? A Saladin. Oh, this guy's got a full lance with him. Not a Saladin. <laughs> He's got a lance of Saladins with him. Well, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, man. It's far on the catapult. Well, hit with the PPC, didn't hit with the tag. PPC a pult. Hmm. 
And this is like three and a half skulls too, right? Two light PPCs and two ELRMs. Okay. Medium seller M10s, 800 armor, 230 in the front. We want to hit him on the side, so let's target this guy um, and hammer him. I think we hit with three. We did. No. We hit with two. Okay. This was from the uh, Mjolnir. Well, let's hope we're not eating popcorn in this mission. Not too worried about the Saladins. 90 armor. Anywhere else he's dead. Okay, full sprint. Double time. Let's go. Forty percent, fifty-four. Hmm. Yeah, looks like it's going to be the catapult. So we got a Gauss rifle at sixty-one damage, PPC fifty-seven, fifty-two, twenty-nine. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we can hit better with these guys. So, and we're not overheating either. All right, I'm feeling more comfortable about this simply because we can just keep shooting continuously. I'm not worried about the heat bank loss now either because uh, um, with our negligible heat, it, I mean, it's going to take forever to get up here. Unless we're in a hot world, of course. Come on, guys. Sort it out amongst yourselves, but let's get it done. So I think in the fulcrums are the Mjolnir's problem. The Griffin and the Catapult will be taken on by everybody else. Just because of the heavy armor on the front of these guys. I don't want to be punching through it with lasers. I'd rather just step on the sides. Oh, okay, thanks. Thanks for bringing it in tight, buddy. Appreciate you showing up for the battle. Another vehicle back here. Could be another fulcrum. Saladins. I think once we start seeing them, we should start shooting them. I don't want to get those autocannons in here. You know, it would be better if they uh, outfit the Saladins with a um, Gauss rifle instead. And just make them far more deadly at longer range. Then they don't have to move in. Not as heavy damage as the AC-20, but uh, definitely more deadly. He's armless now. He's a stick. Still two light PPCs though. Huh. Care Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's that's the best name I've ever seen. That's awesome. Care Bear. <laughs> oh, something tells me I'm not going to want to hug him once he gets up close. Let's fire on this guy. <laughs> Care Bear. Oh, that's awesome. And he's fast too. That's the thing that scares me. I'm hoping it's not a melee mech. We're going to be running from the guy. I hope it's not a melee mech. I got a, I got a, na oh, I got a nasty feeling it is, though. I'm receiving you. Alright, we want to go back, I think. We don't want to be up close with these guys. 
Um, let's take on the Griffin and fire. This guy should be taken out without a problem here in a second. Two light PPs, PPCs aren't scaring me at the moment. I'm wondering if we should uh, pull back here. <laughs> I'm scared by the Care Bear now. <laughs> it's terrifying me. It's the not knowing, right? So not knowing what it is, and the fact that it can move so fast, I'm like, it's got to be a melee mech, and if it's, it's a 100 ton melee mech, I don't want to be anywhere near it. Please stay away. Just stay over there somewhere. I was going to move the, move the Mjolnir and step on this guy. I think I'm going to take... Well, this guy's moving. Yeah, we'll take this guy on, because we want to come back here. Actually, let's take out... Um, let's take out the Catapult with, this, with the Mjolnir. Yeah, he's still got another Fulcrum moving here. Let's see where he goes. We might step on him instead. Wow, oh, they're hitting pretty damn good, though. We have to kill those guys. I'm unsteady, too. Damn it. That Griffin hasn't moved yet, has he? He's at 22. He has to have. These guys are really being, like, forward here. Let's try and take this torso. Okay. Ignore that injury all you want. As long as you don't got a PPC or something on there. Wow, this guy's like hammered hard. Yes, Commander. Let's take care of this guy. Okay, you get the next fulcrum. You'll never take care of the, the uh, catapult. Griffin can go down. <sighs> Shit. Damage Hope nobody else can shoot. It's the Scare Bear. It's the Scare Bear. I can understand not liking the meal near though. I totally understand that, guys. Fire away, I get it. Okay, so... That griffin's just going to stand there, I guess. So let's just finish this guy up. God, I love watching that heat drop after I fire. Just a smidge. If I walk in fire, it just drops. Jesus, these saladins are getting close. I think we're still outside. We're well enough outside range. Okay, we might get initiative with the meal near here. Ah, guy's getting too close. Okay, Marauder, it's your turn to. You're gonna have to take him out. Okay, Rocky, up, you got this guy. Uh, we want to come in from 
this angle, please. I'm having more fun against these pirates than we had against that Five Skull mission. One more for the trash heap. I live for matches like this. This is great. Okay, missile carrier. So there's a whole other lance back here. It's got to come in still. Something with the PPCs. No idea. No idea. Okay, you can be the Griffin killer today. Location confirmed. And firing. That guy really didn't do too much. Target neutralized. Stand and bite. Let's give them another bigger target to shoot at, because that uh I'm not shooting at her. Confirm. Wow. No, no, no. It's like he's got a shield around him that's protecting him from being hit. The Care Bear just wants a hug. Here he comes. He just wants a hug. Okay, swap targets that time, which is good. He just wants a hug. Gonna do something a little silly here. Not so silly, but uh Let's go this route. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, we got two of the three, not bad. Not bad. I just don't want to have to deal with those guys when this this friggin' Care Bear gets down. <laughs> I can't believe he's called a Care Bear. That is so awesome. I don't want you anywhere near that guy yet until we know what he's got. We have no idea. Two plasma rifles. Look at the armor on this. Melee 273! I told you. I knew he was a melee mech. A primary target is taking damage. 273 melee. We better be careful. He may try and bug out. Eris, catapult, missile carrier, another vehicle. Alright, that's fine. Okay, Rhino, what are we doing? Let's get over here and let's get you to take care of this guy, I hope. We can finish him up, then we don't have to worry about them. And we can't, of course, because why would we be able to? And then let's take out the missile carrier, hopefully at range. Before Care Bear decides to move in and kill us all. Um, that guy can see us from back there, eh? Okay, let's multi... Uh, No, we're going to fire all on this guy. Okay. Just want to make sure we got rid of him. Don't want any extra AC-20s when this melee mech comes down here. 273 melee damage. Friggin' insanity. <sighs> Hopefully this guy goes first. If he doesn't, we're going to reserve past until he comes down. Okay, he's going. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run away. Yes, Commander. He's running away because he lost his uh, support. Uh, we get the haywire on him? I think we did. No, we didn't. Thirty-three damage, really. Gonna do that. Gonna do this. Gonna do this. And 
that. We only hit with one. Are you kidding me? Another fulcrum. Hope that guy doesn't try and bug out. I'm here. Confirmed. Good God. Just don't have the speed to catch up to him. Ready for orders. Maybe he was just trying to sucker us in. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe he's trying to get us to move forward. He's going to come after us in a second. Wow, those ATMs did one point damage. Hundred bucks, Darius is going to tell us he's bugging out. Wow, nice shots, buddy. Systems holding. No, not yet. We'll wait for him to move. He's coming back. No? Yep. If we can take a leg, he guaranteed he won't leave. We'll keep him on the map board. But if we can't take a leg then it's not going to happen. And if I just start applying damage to this guy... God, it's going to kill our chances to hit here. We've got to go. Hopefully we hit with one. Ooh! Was that three hits in the leg? Oh my god, it was! Uh... I think you're going to be in range. I don't know if you'll be in range there. I think we'll be okay. No, we didn't get a haywire hit on him. I was hoping for a haywire hit. Mr. Carey has decided to back off. Eris hasn't though. He's going to shoot. No. Nope. Yep. You and I will have a PPC battle in a minute. I want to kill this guy up here first. He's itching for a fight. I'll show him what a 75 ton PPC mech should look like. I know he's only 70, but... Fulcrum trying to get into missile range. Welcome to missile range. I'm receiving you. Let's just walk it. Give us a bit better chance to hit. Time for Warlord. Offensive push. Going for legs. Hope we get something here. Oh, we got it. He's going down. Something good. What's up, boss? Hopefully that's enough to uh, stop this guy from attacking any of us. Let's go for try for a headshot and fire. Nope, I don't think we got one. Well, he's taking a bit of damage to the head. I don't know who hit him. Actually, he's on the ground, right? I don't need to do that. Try and take his head off. Couldn't get that lucky. Ah, mostly CT hits. Waiting for orders. Man, we're missing with all those secondary systems. We may get lucky and take his head off. I wonder if uh, the victor actually hit him in the head. Rock or uh, Rhino may have. I'm here. Location confirmed. 
So again, let's go for the headshot. If he dies, he dies, but... I should hold off. I want to see what he looks like. I'm just afraid he's going to get up and still have enough movement to hit one of my guys. I don't think so. Not through the forest here. Receiving you. you got more chance to hit headshots here. Let's take it. See what happens. No. Well... We're not salvaging much off that. Let's clean these guys up. God, this thing is a beast. I should be using your sensors more. I don't use them very often. Oh, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Commander? You and I, man. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Copy that, Commander. Okay, good. It's a PPC battle. It's going to be a PPC battle. He's got a head start, though. He's done some good damage to me. Lowered my armor everywhere. But I got four to his two, so I can make up for that. Make up for the last time. Uh, let's just move it. Get our stability back before we move into fight. And brace. Commander. See if we can spot these guys. Okay, he's back there. Where's the vehicle? I don't see the vehicle anywhere. Catapults are yours, buddy. I don't think any rest of us can get to him. That's a miss. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, he's behind the hill. Okay. I see you. We can both play it in the woods. That's fine. 40%. Uh, let's increase that a little bit. And yeah, just going to fire straight out. Soften them up a bit before we decide where we're going to pick, pick apart. No idea where we hit there. Messed up the camera again, guys. Sorry. Light damage. Holding firm. I'm pretty good at messing up the camera. Ready for orders. Full speed it. And fire. Alright, that's a respectable start. No, 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 it's supposed to be me and you, cheater. It's not fair. He's not being very nice. Roger, Skipper. It. It's like mono a mono. I thought we had a fight going on here. All weapons committed. Waiting for orders. I copy. Okay, I got eyes on, jammed by ECM, no big deal. Got the tag on him. Good luck hitting me with like nine chevrons of evasion. Alright, four comes become a target. That's good. We don't have to run over and step on him then. Uh, I was really hoping that that uh, the Care Bear would have made a, an appearance and come down the hill and attacked us, but can't have everything. Warlord this, get some more damage on this guy. There we go. Back on the target again. 
All right. All right. Me and you, you know the battle. Don't try to hide. Yes, Commander. He's trying to hide. Moving to position. Oh. Let's drop some lead on that mother. Beep. Solid connection on that one. Well, this was the most satisfying mission. Yeah, you should have moved, dude. Should have moved. Should have, would have, could have, though. Copy that. Well, we've lost our our kill streak. The back kill streak with the mule. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. That's a kill. Back kill streak, number nine, I think. Now she meleeed a couple of other mechs, but she didn't attack them from behind. So, gonna keep it as a back kill streak. That was a back attack. So that counts. Alright, gonna fire straight away here. Yes, Commander. Finish up that vehicle, please. He just vanished. He just va <laughs> he just vanished off my sensors. <sighs> See if we can get him back on. Oh there you are. Guess it depends on where I'm standing. There we go. Now it's a Mjolnir Eris fight. Let's see if he stays on target. He does. Oh, I'm, I'm in your pulse laser range now, am I? Yeah, so is his. He's moving in. He knows the battles between him and I. Got eyes on. I've got eyes on. Who's going first? Oh, he almost doesn't have an arm left. Order. Let's get some evasion going so he doesn't think of us as a target. I'm gonna do this because I want to make sure we get initiative next round. Uh, do we want to offensive push this guy? 87%. 60. Nah, I think we want to stay with the 87. Let's just fire straight out. He's not having a good day, guys. He's not having a good day. Yes, Commander. I guess we're kind of cheating. Well, he's got an ECM. We've got ECM, so we're jamming each other, I guess. Has he penned anything yet? Find out in a second. Yeah, I got the arm penned. It's the left arm. Make sure we got our right side turned to him. Not moving very far, but uh, oh, we got our warlord back. What's his CT at? Yeah, he's almost done. Let's just fire straight out. Give him one more chance. If we if we miss, we miss. No. Nope. Good PPC duel. Cost them some sea bells on that for sure, but it was worth it. All right, so we increased our payment by 66%, 1.365 million sea bills, which is excellent. Probably going to cost us about 300,000 repairs, most likely. But we did not take any component damage as far as I remember. Yeah, we seem to be pretty good. Interested to know what that Care Bear was though. 100 ton. Please. <laughs> the big pink Care Bear. Look at that guy. <laughs> Stock roll. Big fluffy. Oh my god, that's so awesome. And yeah, this is a pink... This is pink plush and fluffy dice in the cockpit. Bunch of vibro claws. Are you kidding me? Christ. Alright, let's look for melee weapons for that guy. 
I think the vibro claws are built in though. So I don't think we're going to get anything from that, but lots of case two, cockpit view, internal combustion, XL engines, exchanger. That's kind of a huge bonus. We could take that. Um, let's just drop it in for now. Um, heat bank, we don't need as much as the exchanger. Uh, that's like 800,000 if you buy it in the store. And it doesn't look like there's any melee weapons down here. Arm mount plus three. I don't know. I think we take the exchanger. I think we take the exchanger, guys. I think that's the way to go. Yep. All right. SRM 4 triple plus. XL engine. Nice. So we can sell that. Okay. LRM incendiary ammo, too. All right. This isn't too bad of a loadout. Or a, a, a roll on it for us here. All right, uh, 97. Oh, well, only about 100,000. That's not bad, but 29 days. That's the big uh, ticket right there. All right, so while we're waiting for that to get fixed, let's just take another quick mission here. Let's manage our tasks first, though. Let's get the Orion up. Um, it's my fault he's that damaged, but. Uh, you know, I needed to do that Eris battle. That, that was kind of cool. All right, so let's go and do another mission here real quick. Let's take another contract. We got our second lance we can run. So let's run that. Stealing as a form of flattery is kind of not a bad one to do here. Capture a base. Um, incomplete ex destroy base. Let's capture the base. And let's... Local government... So, yeah, I don't think expect, I'm not expecting a huge amount of resistance here. But I think if we're going to fix up our mechs, we've got that cataphract to put together. Um, let's go this route, one of five, just in case there is anything good we can grab. And accept. And we'll flush out our main lance here. Let's bring our second lance into play. Uh, Squire, and uh, I'm trying to remember the order we had everybody in. Um, Jazz, Kerbos was here, and then Tugboat. Uh, I think you two were switched around. No, I think you were this route. All right, so let's go with the Nodachi down here in Kerberos. Let's go with the Jagermac. And we've got the LRM version. C21 is the medium lasers. MML and LRMs. We've got more to lose if we lose that mech, so let's not go with that guy. This is the one with the PPC in it, right? Yep, so you're going second, and then you are going here. And let's deploy this and make, get it done. Okay, base capture. This is good map for it. They got turrets. Okay now. We are okay with that. With this loadout, we are fine with that. We got lots of long range stuff. Full speed it is. Full speed it is. Now. Good to go. Lots of long range stuff. We got a nice short range mech here with an ER large as well for long range. Right here. This um Jaeger mech with the Ultra 5s and the light ACs is running r extremely well. I mean, it still doesn't hit really hard. Um, but the consistency of hits and the stability damage is just really wonderful. Bust an owl. See what I mean? It doesn't like it doesn't do like a lot of heavy, heavy damage, but the damage is enough, right? And the stability loss on mechs is really good too. It is Gan. It's totally Gan. No problem. Ready for orders. Oh, geez, eh? Get down in there. Spot them turrets for us, eh? Sorry, I just had this, uh... 
this flash of accents. I know in the United States there's plenty of different accents, different accents depending on where you're from. In Canada, it's kind of the same. Um, but uh, you hear all the American accents from the pilots in the game. But there's no Canadian accents. Now she's probably the closest to an East Coast accent as you can get, but not really. Full speed. No target. No target. Taking the shot. Oh geez, eh? Raining the missiles down on them. Commander. Uh, we can apply the large laser here. Double hit. Yeah, thanks. I know that. They're online, buddy. They're always online. Just as kind of a default, you should know that. Copy. Ooh, not enough to kill, eh? Receiving you. Receiving you. We can't hit them both, eh? Alright, gotta choose one. Choose this one, because that's the only one we can shoot at. Okay. I thought we were going to get away with not being hit in this first little movement here. That didn't quite work, did it? Orders. Take that turret out. Here it comes. I like that. That Jager mech now is nice. All right, there's that turret. Direct line of sight, nice. Firing. Serum should take care of this. Yep. That turret is gone. Yes, command. So so far, it's been a walk in the park. Buster now. I think we got another full turn before the reinforcements show up. Probably. Let's get full speed going here. As much evasion as we can. Receiving you. Curbs. On the move. Full speed. Let's take this base. Understood. Moving fast. Get to cool down too, which is nice. Get to lose some recoil. We've always got hostile contacts inbound. Ooh, bushwhacker. Flee. No dachi. Griffin, okay. Pirate whacker, probably. Kerberos, you got the speed. Get up here. Let's take the base while we can. And maybe we kill this flea? Can we hit him with everything? No, nah, just the large. I guess shoot part of the base while you're at it. Once the flea starts moving, it's going to be hard to hit it, so... so right now the bushwhacker is the threat. Although the Nodachi hasn't moved yet. So better chances to hit. Let's take them. Yeah, benefiting off of the uh, rules that didn't benefit us versus the uh, on the um, uh, stones, uh, smooth stones mission. Although we didn't all get to go first. Can't get over how bad we got hammered off that right out the top. I understand it though. Just wish we had the evasion and stuff to to, to start the mission off. I think the mission would have ended up the same though in the long run. We would have had to retreat. 
but not much we can really do about it now. Griffin moving in. Come on, Griff. Yeah, you hit his butt as well as I do. <laughs> Don't get too excited, buddy. That's what gets you killed. Still got really great chances to hit this guy. Is he going down? Yep. Good shooting, man. Apply as much heat as you want. It's not really going to save your ass yeah. against this guy because he doesn't have a lot of heat anyway. Get our stability back. Let's see if we can... Uh, a lot of cripple damage to this guy. Yep, there we go. I love the shells ejecting from this thing too when you fire. We didn't get really good look at it, but they were ejecting out of there. Location confirmed. Let's remove the flea. <laughs> Thank you, that laugh was awesome. <laughs> They laugh like someone from Toronto. Oh, nice jump, man. Too bad you couldn't hit with shit. Well, I was going to take the flea, but now the Griffin's target. He is unstable. Waiting for orders. And waiting for, for a judo chop here. Uh, we got to come in from this angle, unfortunately, because we can't turn our back. Nice. Arm hit. Meh. He goes on 16, so it looks like the bushwhacker is probably going first here. Yep. You're shooting at the wrong guy with the inferno ammo, buddy. Reporting. Minimal damage. If you're in the desert environment, you'd be doing a good job, but not here. Right here. Knock this guy in his ass. Solid connection on that one. Sure as hell was. This guy's a sharpshooter, man. Look at the time. Look at these. So cute. And he missed. You're so cute, buddy. I'm gonna pick you up and carry you around with me under your under my arms. Um. Cause sure. Pilot lethal damage. Goodbye. Might as well just shoot his head right off. Okay, you can't shoot the flea. Because you didn't get the good laugh last time. Shoot this guy. I want to see if I can get the laugh. Gonna do <laughs> indirect fire. I want to see if she laughs again. Ah, uh, the laugh would have been worth it. Look at this guy, it's like... He's so cute. Uh, 
I know Dashi should just pick him up and carry him around under his arm. Waiting for orders. Okay, we got another shot at it. Let's do it. Ah! He punked out on me. One less target. Waiting for orders. Give him the big baboom. There you go, moron. Roger, full speed. Let's get them serms in the battle. And firing. You're just outnumbered now, buddy. Not a damn thing you can do about it. Moving to position. God, these auto cannons. So glad I put those AC the the uh, ultra AC fives in this thing. Let's take the other leg. Ah, uh, we got both legs. Okay, good. Not that it matters, I mean, we only get one salvage, but still. Makes us look good. Mission successful. Alright, so there's a look at the missions I've been playing to get uh, sea bills in, in the off time, which is one of the reasons why I don't uh, usually uh, include them in um, the videos, because it's really not, it's just walking through the motions, right? Just to go in to collect the money to leave, so. It's generally why I don't show those ones, um, but that's just so now you now you see what these guys do. The second lance just goes in and just cleans house and then walks out. And that was a three skull mission too, so um, it's not like I'm, you know, going for like a, a one skull or a two skull. It's like, you know, these guys are on par. So but we will be getting that full catapult lance up and running now, though. All right, so let's see what we can find. Pirate AC5. Is this the one that does the heat? It does. It's the one we lost before. Yeah, we can't really use it, unfortunately, because there's nothing to put it in. I mean, I could put it in the... Uh, oh, double heat sink kit would be nice. Wait, we, we, we have a bunch of these, don't we? We got three, yeah. Don't, for, never mind then. Um... I could put it in the, uh, oh, the incendiary ammo as well. Yeah, I could put that in the, um, Jager mech, but I don't think it's really worth it. Another 300 core. It's 2 million C bills. Now, I think these double heat sink kits are 2.5, aren't they? Yeah, we could always take one of those to sell. Endo steel, we still got lots. Pirate flamer, meh. Plasma cannon. Looking for stuff for the uh, next catapult. We could go with MRMs, but they, don't, they can't use TTS ammo. Or the... Uh, sorry, they can't use the Artemis, but they can use regular TTSs. It's just not... I don't know. Not really worth it. TSMs, eh. We could put these on the Marauder, I guess, to try and increase the speed on it, but it won't increase it by much. Well, that's a really hard choice, eh? We can't complete any mechs up here, so it's almost not worth taking a mech part. Um, I wish it showed you how many other... Like, give you a list of other mech parts so you know what you have, what you should take. Let's just take the Pirate AC-5. Actually, you know what? We'll get more use out of the incendiary ammo, I think, than the Pirate AC-5. Let's take that. We might use it somewhere down the road. Okay, Bushwhacker, Griffin, Nodachi, Part, Medium, Laser, Plus. Okay, not too bad. Oh! Wow, we got a Griffin. Oh, SLD, LDF, Royal, Improved Cooling. Okay. That's interesting. 13,000. I don't know if I'll repair the Griffin. Um... 
We are and well, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Got the sea bills, so let's get the cataphract repairing. Definitely want to get this guy re re repairing. So spiky, which is the quirk this guy has, basically just it says it just improves melee. Whether I think it's both damage and to hit. So that's kind of a bonus. It's a 270 engine, so it's got some speed to it. Um, top 195. It's pretty good actually overall. We could um, put a mask or something in this guy to increase his speed even more. Turn him into a, a devastating melee mech again, but we need more melee mech parts. We don't really have a lot. Um, yeah, I mean we got a pirate uh, ER pirate medium laser. But that's pretty much it right now. So anyway, let's confirm this because we want to get this guy fixed. And we want to get the catapult fixed too. I think it's around the same amount to repair it. It's another 500,000. So let's get this guy fixed. And then we'll see what the griffin takes to fix. Maybe we'll get him up and running too. Just to throw him in storage for now. So this guy's got a lot of damaged parts too. Um, no fusion core. We've got jump jets. Let's just strip it. Um, so 511,000, 12 days. So let's get that confirmed. Now this is another one of those ones with the uh, four missile launchers on it. A pair of laser points, a pair of ballistic points. So let's we can come up with an interesting uh, uh, loadout for that guy. And this guy, what do we got here? Heavy Pharaoh, eh? Um, do we want to? Re yeah, let's repair him. He's got a lot of stuff on him. Actually, he survived with a half decent amount of stuff. Royal heatsink kit, automatically double heat cooling, minus five percent weapon heat. So that's actually and minus six heat per turn. So I guess this guy uses double heat sinks. Regular double heat sinks. Um, you know what? Let's. He's got like lots of. He's got like three uh, support points here. Seventy-two thousand. It's like takes nothing to fix this guy. I guess because it was very little damaged. Well, let's confirm that. Why not? Okay, let's have a look um, as this guy's done. So now we can have a catapult lance, which is going to be kind of cool. Uh, we're going to need to get another mech bay up and running probably before we end the series. I mean, I don't know. I may let this series go a little longer than I was anticipating because I'm having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to have a look here. Um, so Atlas parts, we've got 3K. I thought we had a few more. That's a Kraken. Awesome. Am I just not seeing it here? I thought we had more parts. Battle Master. We got four Battle Master parts. Blood Asp. Volkstrecker. Another battle master. We got five battle masters. I thought, what? What am I thinking? We have atlas parts. You know what it was? Um, funky. No, uh, cold forged. I think we had atlas parts. We got king crab parts, highlander parts, awesome parts. Not a whole lot there though. Heavies though. We still got. We got lots. I mean, we're getting pretty close to getting another catapult. Uh, Thunderbolt. We haven't experienced. We haven't encountered one of those in quite a while. Hector's dragon. Black Knight parts. We got a bunch of those. Axeman. Still got a chance to get lots of max. This archer we've never been able to finish. This rifleman's been going forever. Legend killer. But, you know, hopefully we encounter one sooner or later. See how that goes. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. Hope you liked it. Um, if you got suggestions for what you want to see in the future, just let me know. We'll we'll play around with this this. Uh, Loadout. I think what we're going to end up doing is taking these guys into combat again earlier rather than later uh, to make some more sea bills because we are going to go through a million dollar, uh, uh, 1.2 million financial report in a second. So we'll have to take another mission with this this lance. They're going to be back in three days, so that's fine. 
We'll get the Orion into the thing. Mjolnir will be done. Um, yeah, it's going to be like, well, it's going to be a month before all these guys are back. So uh, we will have to take another mission with our secondary lance once they're back in six days. And uh, make some more sea bills. All right, so we're going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and also drop in any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.